Pika, this show is all about helping the new and upcoming voiceover artists grow their business and sidestep all the crazy things that this guy seems to step on. Happy Fiverr Friday. It is the 23rd of April. Crazy. We have, what, about seven days? We got one week left until we are done with this month. Uh, it's good to be back. Uh, I had my uh, shot, <laughs> my second COVID shot this week. So uh, definitely towards today, I was feeling a lot more out of it, but I'm I'm, I'm rebounding. And I'm ready to talk to you today on Fiverr uh, about, um, uh, which I, th- I think it's a topic that is going to help a lot of people, and that's picking the right title for your gigs. And here's the thing, because it's not just about you know getting on Fiverr, putting up one gig or one offering, and you just pick one title. As your journey continues on Fiverr on this platform, you've got to pick multiple titles. You've got to um, pick titles that actually get results. That's really extremely important. If you pick the wrong title, it all starts there. You know, this the search algorithm on Fiverr is not super duper complicated in the sense that, you know, it focuses the first thing on the title. So we've got to pick the right one. So we're going to be talking about that. I'm going to show you some things and we're going to go around the platform a little bit today and and give you some ideas on how to pick the title uh, that's right for you. Real quick, before we get started, if you're brand new to Fiverr Friday, welcome. Uh, And if not, welcome back. Uh, What we do here is I give you a little bit of a spiel. I talk to you about some uh, stuff on Fiverr and then you go ahead and post your your comments, questions, whatever, and I do my very best to answer them. Also, if you haven't done yet, please hit that subscribe button uh, and uh, hit the notification bell so whenever I go live or I drop a video, you guys can catch it. And always feel free to leave a comment and question as we're going along because I go back at the at the end of my little talk and read all of them, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and dive into the session today. Uh, As you can see on my screen, we've got, this is Fiverr. I pulled up an incognito window. Now that's the first thing I want to talk to you about. When you start to go doing your research to find a title, we want to look in incognito. The reason why I like to look in an incognito window or a window um, that is without cash built up, okay? Because if we have, like, if you don't do something uh, or go to a browser and pull up a cashless window, you're going to be kind of stuck with what you searched for in the past and you're not going to get an accurate search. Okay. So we want to try to do something and all you got to do is using uh, like Google Chrome or something. If you right click on the icon, it'll say new incognito window. You can just click that up and it brings up this uh, new window and then you can type in whatever website you want to go to. So anyways, you can see we're here on Fiverr. And, um, you know, if you've not done a lot of research going on Fiverr, this is important to do. Okay, because, you know, Fiverr kind of gives you all of the the I think the tools you need on the platform if you understand how to use them. Okay, so we know we're the perfect example here just starting off with what's popular. All right. And this is important to note too. what's popular, too, and also be aware Okay, of what's popular as you keep looking at this. But of course, we are going to dive into voiceover. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go down here and I'm just going to click on voiceover. So I want to give you the first set of ideas uh, that uh, I, I want to talk to you about. Now, first things first, when you get here, okay, you've got best selling and you've got recommend, you've got recommended new arrivals or best selling. I'm just going to hit recommended. Okay, because that brings up the first thing we got to look at is that there's over 24,000 gigs available for voiceover now on Fiverr. All right. Uh, So there's a lot on here and that's some good competition. But with the things we're going to talk about today, that's going to help you. So the first thing I want to talk about is where do you even start? Well, if you go to voiceover options right here, we're looking for titles where we're looking for where do we start on Fiverr or where do we add right here under purpose? Fiverr calls it a purpose. I call them like categories. These are like the main categories or whatever that Fiverr has put together for voiceover. All right. And we've got video narration, audiobook, TV, radio, dubbing, impersonation, e learning, phone system, and IVR, video game, podcast. The first things that you want to do is as you're building out your gigs on Fiverr, is look at these purposes 
and start making gigs around these purposes and using these as your title. Okay, so let's go ahead. We're going to start with, as you can see, video narration is the main one. A lot of times that is too, because when you're setting up your gig, video narration is the first one up there. But there is no lie that video narration as a whole has grown leaps and bounds. And that's basically the majority of the work that we all do is, is it can be under video narration. So I want to talk about we got video narration. Um, and we're going to just start with that. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to come up here. OK, into the services. Now, you don't have to do this under voiceover, but I was just showing you these options here uh, so that you can we can look at these purposes. And we're going to start with video narration. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here just like Google. When I type in a word. All right. As you can see, I typed in video. All of a sudden you're getting some, you know, Fiverr is filling in what people are searching for. OK, and this is where we want to start looking for titles based around these purposes. All right. So I just typed in video. We've got video editing, video, video explainer. So we know that, you know, as voice actors, we do explainer videos, uh, edit video, video editing for YouTube, product video, video ads, video lyric. OK, so if I typed in video narration, because that's what we now you can see right here. I typed in video narration. What happened? Video voiceover came up. OK, so let's go ahead and click on video voiceover. All right. So now that I've done video voiceover. OK, uh, I've clicked on this and you can see that there are 43,000 services available because there's article to video. There's a bunch of different categories here that's coming up. So if I come down here and I go into voiceover. OK, so this is uh, under video voiceover, what people uh, what comes up when people are searching for video voiceover. So as as a person looking for a title for your gig. Right. If we start looking at these people, right, we say I will record a male voiceover for your YouTube video. So video voiceover is in there. Uh, video voiceover right here. YouTube corporate video voiceover. Video voice. See, these people are using video voiceover. Uh, video voiceover. There's Angela. Um, we've got video voiceover is one word. Video. OK, we've got there's Ben. Uh, there's Heath. We got a lot of wonderful people who are up at the top here. There's Gary, a part of a VO's Journey Elite. And uh, so if you look, so this is this is exactly what I'm talking about. This is actually a very good title. So you can see that the people at the top, okay, and that was 16,000 services plus, which is good in the sense that there is a lot of people here and there's a lot of search, uh, there, there's a lot of searches going on. This would be a great title to put something like, I will record a video voiceover. All right. Now, again, Fiverr automatically populates, I will. Now, people have combined this, like this gentleman, uh, Glenn. Oh, I know Glenn. Glenn Glenn put YouTube or corporate video voiceover. So he actually combined a couple of different things. But what I'm getting at is you could tell as as we go down, what happens is, is that the titles, some of them are video voiceover, some of them are not. So it gives us room to dive in there because not all of them are, you know, exactly video voiceover. But this is this is this is what I'm talking about. This is a specific search term video voiceover that five are, five are populated because people are searching it. So this is an opportunity for us to create a gig that, re that revolves around, I will record a video voiceover. This is important to talk about in the sense that part of my success on Fiverr, I think, has been doing things like this, finding uh, the cracks, if you will, finding the places, like what are people searching for? Because here's the reality. A video voiceover, I mean, that's that's that can be, that's pretty generic if you think about what how many different types of videos that we do right however in the, in in the sense of what people are searching for it's really important that we actually you know put down titles of what people are searching for so they'll, they'll find us and the thing is is that if we're putting down just up any random titles we could be do we could be doing video voiceovers, but we're not being found because that's not what they're searching for. So that's why searching, um, getting in here, doing research on how to create the title that what people are searching for is super important. 
okay? And then from there, then we go and we build out our description and we build out our tags that complement video voiceover. Like for example, your tags say YouTube video, corporate video, you know, corporate video voice or, you know, th that kind of thing. So we're building around the video voiceover. So that's a gig. I will record a video voiceover because people are searching for it. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go back and we're going to go to category again. Um, and we're, whoops, let's go back again. All right, so voiceover options, we're gonna go to uh, back down here. So let's take another look. We've got audiobook. All right, so let's go ahead up here and type in audiobook. All right, so when I type in audiobook, this is what pops up. Now, again, just on a side note, it's super important you do this in an incognito window because if you don't, these results will be skewed by anything that you search for or anything you've looked at. Fiverr will use that cache to target, retarget you to where they think or the the uh, AI thinks that you want to go. Okay, so it's important for you to get uh, the the incognito window. So here I've typed in audiobook, we've got audiobook, audiobook narrator, audiobook editing, audiobook cover design, audiobook promotion, ghostwriter audiobook, audiobook cover. So right off the bat, right, looking at this, I'm seeing audiobook promotion, audiobook narrator. So if I click on audiobook narrator, all right, we've got 596 services available. Listen, I typed in audiobook, audiobook narrator came up. That's being searched, and there's only 590. And actually, you know what? Let's go in here. So, voiceover, there's only 364 services that are currently coming up under audiobook narrator. See, this is this is what I'm getting at. This is actually a really good place to dive into, right? To find you like to get into the cracks, like I was saying, because people are searching for audiobook narrator. I repopulated it. It's a search. It's, it's a popular search. So when someone types in audiobook narrator, okay, this is going to pop up. This is something that you can do. I will be your audiobook narrator. Okay. Some you could say that. All right. You can, you know, um, you know, I will uh, record and, you know, be your audiobook narrator. You can you can weave that in there. I think I will be your audiobook narrator. That's actually a really good title. And the reason is is because I like less is more. The 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 the, the better you can match the title, okay, the better you're going to come up on the searches in my personal opinion. Now, if we go through here, you can see that we've got a lot of people, we know a lot, I know a lot of these people. Um We've worked with a lot of these people. It's really wonderful to see them at the top and on the front page. Um, but but the thing is, is that this is an opportunity for you to get into the cracks with only 364 services available. This is what I'm trying to say. This is opportunities from your research of getting titles that work. All right. Now, could there be other ones? Yeah. I mean, you could put in, we could just literally type in audiobook because that came up. All right. Uh, well, let's actually, you know, let's let's do audiobook. Let's see what happens. So we come on audiobook, one thousand four hundred and thirty-six. I come down here to voiceover. There's five oh two that come up when we talk about audiobook. Okay. So as I'm coming down here and I'm looking, I'm looking at titles. I'm trying to see what people are listing their titles for. All right. Uh, I will expert uh, expertly voice your audiobook. These are rising talents, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you can see that it's a lot of the same people, just added a couple more. But I think this is, I will be your professional audiobook narrator. We talked about that, right? Audiobook narrator. That's a person who exactly made sure they listed that title and they're number one, okay, that we were talking about. There is Susan. I've worked with Susan. She's amazing. Angela, Angela, she's here today. Uh, we got Ron. We've got a lot of, lot of people here from Avio's Journey Elite. Uh, which is great, but this is the point I'm trying to make to you. If you can get, you know, I will record your audiobook, all right, or I will, you know, be your audiobook, like this person, they, she said professional, because that's another word, right, that you could type in here to see if professional is coming up, <clears throat> like what's coming up, and that's another added keyword, but I will say real quick about keyword stuffing in titles, you do want to be kind of careful just because 
at some point it becomes just, you know, like over the top with shoving keywords in there and commas, in which case the algorithm looks and be like, you know, this is this is not they're just shoving everything in there. OK, so that's why I like to be more like because this is a great title. I will be your professional audiobook narrator. I mean, it really is straight to the point, And she comes up as number one on there. Um, and so anyways, I, I wanted to show you how that part works. Let's let's do let's do one more. And then we'll we'll go into uh, we'll go into questions. And I want you to know that as we're doing this too, I think it's important to note that you know you can use all of these and put them together, and you know try different ones out. This whole, at least my philosophy is that this is all a it's trial and error, right? We're trying to find a place where we're going to get work. You can always change your titles, your tags, your descriptions if things aren't working for you. All right. You can change your demos. Like that's one thing I love about Fiverr is that it's very easy to edit your stuff, to change things. Now I'd say give it about three weeks, two to three weeks because of the sheer amount of people on Fiverr now, you've got to give it more time. It used to be, I was like, only give it about a week before you need to, you know, if it's not working. But now I think it's more like two or three weeks to see if things are working with your new changes, but then you might need to change something else. That's why I love having multiple gigs and going through, like we're talking about these titles right here, so that you can, because when you first start out, right, you have seven seven gigs you can create, so that's seven different titles. And then level one, you've got 10, level two is 20, and top rated seller, you have 30. But these are your these are these are ways that you can try out different things with multiple gigs. All right, let's try one more, uh, and and this is interesting too. Let's go ahead and do something different. Like let's do uh, let's do British. We're gonna type in British. Now look right as I type in British. Now in all fairness, I am under I am under voiceover. Right. But if I type in British, British voiceover, British male voiceover, British female voiceover. OK, British voiceover. So let's go British. So Br British female voiceover. So I type that in. I click that. I've got twenty four hundred services. All right. These are great. Um, uh, let's see. I've worked with a lot of these people as well. Um, and uh, we've got a lot of great services here. Let's go under category and I'm going to hit voiceover alone. OK, and th the reason why I'm hitting like voiceover and stuff, because I want to narrow it down exactly which one is which. OK, so as I come through here, I notice that it's British female voiceover. I will supply a professional black British be a female voiceover today. That's cool. Uh, that's an amazing picture. Professional. Um, to me, guys, so these guys, these ladies got some great pictures in here. By the way, this is I know we, we've been just talking about gigs like titles. But don't don't forget the the extreme importance of the thumbnail, which we've talked about many, many times. All right. But you, you got to really have great pictures on your thumbnails to catch people's attention. So they click on that little play button. OK, um, like th this this woman's um, picture just makes me want to click on her button because, I mean, it's just beautiful picture. Uh, so but listen, anyways, the point I'm trying to make is, is that, you know, British, we've got British female voiceover, voiceover is one word, voiceover is two words, etc. So if I was going to come here, I'd be like, you know, I will record a British female voiceover that like if you if you look, because I will professionally, professionally unique. I mean, they're putting extra keywords in here, which is fine. But I'm a big advocate for just going for, you know, I will record a British female voiceover. You don't need all of that fluff. And then on the bottom for tags, you can put professional. You can put, uh, you know, different, a variety of different things that, that go with the British female voiceover. The idea is to, I like at this point to do less because so many people are doing more. OK, and it gives you an idea of starting place. And then if you need to add later, you can add later. Does that make sense? OK, so I, I hope that you got like you can do it multiple ways. We can do it based on the the category, the purposes themselves. OK, we could do it based on these purposes themselves. We can also do it based on accents, based on uh, nationalities. Uh, you could do it based on tones. All right, let's talk about tones. Maybe we let's type in casual. 
All right, and nothing comes up there. See, so this is a great, see, okay. So this is what I'm talking to you about. This is a great way to also make sure you're not picking titles that don't work, all right? Because I, I typed in casual, that's part of the tones. So Fiverr implemented a little while ago tones, all right? So they've got, you know, um, calming, corporate. Uh, so let's let's type in, because corporate, because uh, there's a lot of different, all right, corporate. So we've got corporate identity, corporate flyer, video, logo, finance, branding, brand identity, brand fly or flyer design. You see what I mean? So as I'm going through this, I'm thinking, okay, well, corporate is not necessarily such a big search on its own, right? But, you know, what could go with corporate? What if I type in corporate e learning? All right, as you can see, like it doesn't, like there's not a lot of people typing in corporate e learning. All right, but if I type in e-learning, right, e-learning, e-learning, and by the way, this is another thing too, e-space learning, e-learning. Th this is interesting to me too. Like if I type in e-space learning, that was the first thing that came up under search, e-space learning. If I come in here, look at, there's only 77 voiceover, um, uh, voiceover uh, services that have, that came up and you can look right here they don't, there's an E space, but not E dash. Okay, so all I'm saying is, is that there's Ozzy, he's a great voice actor. Um, all I'm saying is, is that, you know, you can look and find the holes and give um, opportunities to yourself where other people aren't because they're not doing this search. Okay, and I just went down the rabbit hole by going, you know, back and forth. Here's another cool thing. Under up here, a lot of times Fiverr will give you suggested tags to look under. OK, and this will pop up sometimes. And when it does, take a look at these, write them down, e-learning video. All right. Let's check on that. So 28 services popped up under e-learning video and voiceover. There was 11. So this is I will record an explainer video or e-learning voiceover. So I, I mean, again, these are opportunities for you to possibly get in front of people. Now, you can notice what I do notice here. Here's OK. So here's the next tip. When, I, when I'm searching titles, okay, if stuff comes up, Fiverr does populate something, and I come in here and I see that, for example, there's 11 services, and there's seem to be very little work. You know what I mean? There's a, there's some people here, but they're not really getting like, – there's not like uh, top – there's a top rate seller, but they're not doing a lot, right? There's not a lot of reviews. doesn't seem like a lot's going on. Like I would probably steer away from this. But what I'm saying is, is this might be a tag – so we're not just looking for titles, too. We're also looking for tags, right? So this could be a tag that I type in so that when someone, you know, searches for that, I come up on that as well. Does that make sense to to fill out the uh, the the title description tags? All right, you guys. Um, again, to go back and find this, and then we're going to get to questions and everything. What you do is I always use an incognito window. Right, because you can tell by doing all these searches, and I'm just going back by doing all these searches, you're gonna start building up a cache. And if you build up a cache, it's gonna start skewing your efforts on your own, like with your own window. So, you want to build up something or you want to use something that's not uh, storing cache. And uh, now, of course, you can always erase your own cache from your your uh, windows, but we don't like to do that because then, you know, all our passwords and all our stuff we automatically fill in go away. So this is a great way to do it. And all I did was go to voiceover options, look at all these different options that Fiverr has and start to, you know, start to plug those in and see what comes up and see how many people are, are searching for it, how many people are there, what they're making their titles. And that just gives us a great idea of how to build out our portfolio on Fiverr. Okay, well, let's go ahead and bring this back up. Let's go to the main here and let me pull up this. All right, so let's go ahead and get to get to it. Thank you guys so much. If you've got comments, questions, now is the time to uh, put it in the chat. I hope this was really helpful. So real quick off the bat, we got Nikki. Nikki, thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, five pounds, really appreciate that, Nikki. Thank you so much. Zach, five bucks, five dollars. Thank you, sir, for the super chat. If you know what a super chat is, you get it. You can uh, donate to to the channel so that we can 
can keep these videos going and these tutorials going. There's a little um, button down at the bottom. It's like a little, um, uh, what is it, a, a little money icon, and you can click and you can donate. And I'm ever so appreciative. Thank you, thank you. So let's go ahead and dive into this. Uh, these questions we've got voiceover Angela. Hello, Angela. Happy Fiverr Friday. We saw you a bunch on the searches. Don, it's good to have you, sir. Happy Fiverr Friday. Tom, good afternoon and welcome to lunchtime with Anthony. Please pay attention. There could be a quiz. That's right. I'm going to quiz you. Uh, Marcus says, hello, Anthony. Hello, Marcus. Scott, what's up? Happy Fiber Friday. Hello, Scott. Happy Fiber Friday, my friend. Larry, it's good to have you, sir. Thank you. From Facebook, Rudy, I will record wonky sticky bits. <laughs> thank you, Rudy. Nikki, again, thank you so much for your super chat. Uh, let's see. Nancy, hey, Anthony. Hey, Nancy. Good to have you. Alden, happy Friday. Fiverr kings and queens. Happy fri- uh, Fiverr Friday, Alden. Good to have you, sir. Eileen, hello, Eileen. Hello. Happy Fiverr Friday. Walter, what's up, Walter? Good to have you. Zach, again, thank you so much for the super chat, sir. Uh, let's see, Nikki, happy Fiber Friday. Uh, voiceover Angela, I'm there. Yay. <laughs> yeah, you were. You were up there. Uh, Nikki says, Voiceover Angela is number five there in video narration. Happy Fiber Friday. Pete, thank you, Daniel. Creative Lady Productions, hi from Chile, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Great to have you, Creative Lady Productions from Chile, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Uh, let's see, Henning, what's up, Henning? Happy Fiber Friday. Does the text we put into our profile affect the search for our gigs in any way, or is it just to have a professional appearance? Good question, Henning. So listen, everything I think that you put into your gig, from your title, from the text you put in, your profile, your descriptions. Now, I'm assuming you mean profile on your profile page as opposed to the separate descriptions you put in each different gig. Um. I I personally want to make sure that that profile is 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 done in a way that is um uh set right for each gig because the profile shows up in each one of your gigs. So if you know like each gig you have a description, a different description, but that profile that you make on your main page will show up in each one of them, which means that each one of those pages, you will, of your gigs, which are pages on the internet, that your profile is going to show up in that page. So that's going to be part of the algorithm. So it is very important that you put good text in there, good copy, etc. And I always like to add the type of copy in there from things like, you know, uh, I always use the analogy, right? You need to think of yourself as Yoda and they're Luke Skywalker. Your job is to make them the star. So you need to think about that when you're writing copy, you know, you know, hey, my name is Anthony, you know, I've, I've done this for the last umpteen years. And because of this, you know, I've really learned how to communicate well, and I can help you communicate your message to your audience, okay, and help you get your ideas across, right? That's, it's important to look at it that way. Because remember, their people are clients are coming to you, thinking to themselves, okay, how is this person going to help me? How are they going to help my business? Right. You know, like when we go to a business or we buy something, we don't stop and think, how is their business going? How are they doing today? Like we don't think about those things. We just think about, OK, is that service going to help me? OK. And we assume we assume that we, we don't even think about that. We just think about are they going to help me? So if you approach it that way, it's going to give you a leg up, I think. Good question. Uh, all right. Let's see. Eileen, what do you think about adding language, accent and gender into your VO gig title? This is great. I really do believe that you should, okay, you should, and you should give it a shot. So as you could, as you can see, when we were looking at everything, you know, using the different varieties or variables that Fiverr has, the different categories and in, in any section, you know, and we we went and we did the the British female voiceover, but there was over fifty nine language, or there was I think there was more languages or whatever that you could put in there. Um, you know, nationalities, all to- all types of different things. I do, I do want to point out that you know, it, you're you're you need to think of it from the standpoint of, uh, you know, finding a little niche market, finding a little niche market, finding a little niche market. You know what I mean? There might not be a great market for it, but it's worth a shot. And you, and, you know, so I definitely think you should try it out. And that's what I was trying to say earlier. Try things out. If it works, great. If it doesn't, that's okay. Read, you know, think about it again. Do some more research. Change it up some. But definitely try it. Absolutely. 
Uh, okay, so let's see. Um, do 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 do. Bonafide, what's up? Hello from Toronto. Good to have you. Uh, hello, Yuri. Uh, let's see. Hello, Yuri here. Yes. Uh, do you have a tip on how I can record a dubbing video from efficiently? Oh, most efficiently, because you have to watch each sentence to see how the sentence is pronounced. That takes a lot of time. Yeah, you're. I I totally I totally understand. Dubbing is, ugh, I, dubbing is tough. Dubbing is tough. Um, although it seems like more and more, you know, it's coming back more and more too. So here's the thing. What I do is I love to use my particular uh, the DAW that you have. All right, the digital digital audio workstation can help you with this. So I use Adobe Audition. So in Adobe Audition, I can create a multi-track session to where I put the video in as well as the audio. And it separates the video and audio. It shows me the video. I have the audio. Then I can record right underneath it and I can actually watch, see the audio and match up my audio and everything to that audio where I can visually see it. Not, I mean, visually see the audio itself, not just the people talking. I can see both of them. And that really helps me. I know in Studio One, you can do that as well. You could do that in Reaper. A lot of these things, it's, you can't really do that in Audacity. I mean, you know, in, in some of the, the, the freer ones, but in, in some of the paid, in the, a lot of the paid ones, you can. And it makes it a lot easier. So I, I move to that and I do that quite often now. I put something in Adobe Audition and I use it that way. Okay. So that's how I recommend that you do it. It's going to be a lot easier. Good question. Daniel, let's see. Hey, AP, my Fiverr business has been doing pretty well up until this week. Awesome. Uh, only, oh, well, sorry. <laughs> you said up until this week. Only having two orders this whole week. Has this ever happened to you? Sorry, I'm stuffed up today. And how do you deal with it? Yeah, it, it, Daniel, it happens all the time. This is like, this is something we all go through where we have ups and downs. And I think the people that you see at the top, of the pages all the time or the people who are always making business, you have to understand that a lot of them, including myself, you know what I mean? We've, you know, we've built up so many repeat customers that so much of my business is repeat customers. So it's like it one feeds the other, right? It's like it feeds the beast. And I know it's the chicken and the egg, right? You, you, you got to get up there. You got to get business in order to build repeat business. So that takes time. But yes, I do often go through moments where Fiverr switches around thing. And Fiverr has said uh, publicly how, you know, in order to give people coming onto the platform a chance because they want to continue to curate new talent. Okay, because it used to be well, way back when, many years ago, that if you were, you know, a top rated seller, you know, they would just be the same people would stay on the front page the whole time. There would never be anything that never anything switched. Right. But as the platform grew, you know, they're trying to give people more opportunities. That's why they have a rising talent. That's why they have, you know, all these different things that they get people up, promoted gigs, all these different ways they're trying to give other people opportunities. Plus, they switch. They switch people. Oftentimes, not because you've done anything wrong, just because they're trying to give other people a chance to make money as well. So that's why it's really important that when you do get a client, you do your very best to nurture that client, keep in touch with them and, and get them to be a continuing client. Because the more clients that you can get that keep coming back, that builds you in the algorithm. Because every time you have, a, uh, you know, if you just keep, you know, Fiverr likes money. So the more money you make on that platform, the higher Fiverr is going to promote you. OK, uh, let's see. Marcus, FYI, Facebook's broadcast was interrupted around a minute 15. Oh, no, I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, Nikki, can you explain how I can get an incognito window, please, Anthony? Yes. So you go to um, I'm using Google Chrome. All right. As my search, uh, as my browser. And uh, all you do is on the icon, as I was looking down on an icon, you right click on it. And you can just hit, uh, you'll go up and it'll say there's one under new window and then it'll be new inc incognito window. You just open a new incognito window just by doing that. You right click on it and you'll see it's right in the middle. Okay. Uh, that's how I do it. Uh, let's see, Gary. What's up, Gary? Uh, another Facebook user. Hello, hello. Nancy, what's up, Nancy? You come highly recommended. Thank you. Gary, uh, can you explain the super chat? Yeah, so the super chat is where you um, 
uh, f- uh, YouTube gives you the opportunity to donate, uh, you know, a couple bucks or whatever, a couple dollars to the channel, to me, uh, to a video journey to, you know, to keep, keep doing what I'm doing so that I can keep bringing you this wonderful, uh, wonderful content. And you click on the money icon and it's usually in the bottom right on YouTube and you click on that and it allows you to donate money. Uh, and you know, you could do that and then it pops up and it shows me that you donated to the channel and I'm ever so appreciative. So that's how that works. Um, thanks Gary. I appreciate it. Yeah. You have to do it on YouTube only it's not available on Facebook. Uh, Nancy working on my DIY demo. Thank you. That's all. Oh, that's good. Nancy. Keep us, keep us posted. Uh, let's see. Bonify at Nikki Griffiths in Chrome, right click on the top, right? Three dots on your browser in the right corner. Thank you. That's a new way. Another way to do it. Awesome. Actually just click, not right click. Uh, doggy. Hey, JB music. Thank you so much. $10 for the super chat. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That is awesome. It says, you may consider yourself more of a baritone, but hopefully you can still appreciate a tenor. (laughs) That joke aside. Uh, Happy Fire Friday. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Thank you, JB. I really appreciate the super chat. Uh, B-Doggy45, what's up? Fly here. Eric, what's up, my man? Good to have you. Nancy uh, Wift. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, Nancy says, can you... Do it in uh, Ocean Audio. Ocean Audio. I'm not sure if that's what that is. Uh, can you do it? In, oh, oh, I don't know that one. Honestly, I don't know that one, and um, I, I couldn't give you the, the information on that. Uh, let's see, Gary. It is interesting that Fiverr does not allow e-learning with the dash and the title or keywords. That is interesting. So, okay, so maybe that's what it is. Gary, they don't actually allow it. Okay, thanks for 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 saying that. Uh, let's see, Mer- uh, Meridian, Meridian Heights. Hi, Anthony, just found your channel today. Well, welcome. Great information. Thank you. I've been training to be a VO artist for three decades, but didn't know it until recently. I'm glad I found your channel. Well, thank you so much for finding the channel. Appreciate it. Make sure you hit the subscribe. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Bonify says, hey, Anthony, I'm almost at level one. Congrats. About to hit 60 days, four gigs, 24 orders. Curious, what impressions are considered good at this point? I have 800 to 1.6 thousand uh, over 30 days. Seems like pretty slow build. So, um, yeah, thank you for the for the comment. So, listen, anything that you're doing is going to take time to build up. Uh, I look at percentages. So I look at between four to eight percent. So basically, from clicks to impressions, I like to see four to eight percent. Now these numbers are not published by Fiverr. This is just what I've come to use on my own account that I that when I'm hitting these numbers, I feel like I'm I'm doing well. Okay, so the four to eight percent is basically from like impression or clicks to impressions. So if I get it like a thousand, you know, thousand impressions, four percent, right, would be what forty. So forty clicks. That's what I'm going for. Okay, and then from orders to clicks, I'm trying to get to four to eight percent there. Okay, so, you know, um, gosh, doing the math again, 40, 40 clicks, and then how much would be 4% of, well, I know 10% of 40 clicks would be 4, so that's what 2 is. So, I mean, you're, you're looking at, like, you know, an order, you know, 1 to 2 orders would be great. But that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying is important uh, because as you look at these percentages, and we've talked about on the channel, too, about the importance of pushing yourself to do everything you can to get in front of more people, et cetera, et cetera. Yes, on Fiverr by putting up as many gigs. This is the argument that I make about putting up more gigs because the more gigs you put up, the more people you're getting in front of. And remember, just because someone doesn't go through your one gig to order doesn't mean they're go they're not messaging you from that gig, finding another gig through that gig you know what I mean like let's say you have one or two gigs that you get all the business from you're like why do I want to put up more gigs because you're going to reach more audience you're going to get more impressions you're going to be able to get more orders that percentages I go by the percentages so says Facebook so I hope that I hope that helps um with what you were with what you were at, um I'm asking there so uh Let's see. Um, so, but on the other side of, is that enough? Listen, you're just starting out. You got to keep putting up more stuff. And as you grow, Fiverr will promote you more. 
Okay, so, you know, I can't I, I couldn't tell you if that's good or bad for where you are right now. But I, again, I, oh, wait, you did put four gigs, 24 orders. That's really good. I mean, 24 orders is fantastic. All right. So that's actually really good. Uh, Nikki, have you got a video of dubbing a video in audition and separating the video from sound? I seem to be able uh, I seem to be getting a few of these lately at the moment. I'm playing the video on my phone to match. Oh, goodness. Bless your heart, Nikki. That's pretty crazy. Uh, yeah, I've I don't know if I've done a video showing you how to do it. I do the trailer stuff on some of my other social media where you actually see me. I video I record myself recording through the DAW and the video and you see that but I've not done an actual video I'll, I'll look in I'll, I'll think about doing that definitely good good call thank you Nikki for the um, suggestion Gary says super chat I see but I don't get your YouTube live only Facebook no oh, I pre oh, well I do appreciate it Gary and that's okay um yeah Facebook doesn't do it it's just on YouTube uh let's see Jason Jason what's up hi Anthony on my audiobook gigs, I get interest from buyers, but they always want to use PFH. How do you charge PFH on Fiverr, and how do you communicate this expectations with buyers? Okay, so if everybody doesn't know, PFH, PFH is talking about per finished hour. And on Fiverr, what I do, because there's there's two things to think about here. One, Fiverr does it by, uh, you could do two ways. You could do under voiceover, which is by words, or you could do under audiobook production, which is by packages. Uh, a lot of people have moved to audiobook production, and Fiverr really wants you to do under audiobook productions instead of just the words. But this is how I do it. So I usually do the audiobook production, and I would recommend you do it by either 30 minutes or an hour. OK, or you could do it by 15 minutes, whatever you want. And then you put down what you're going. So if it's packages, you're literally going to put down how much you charge for 30 minutes or an hour per finished hour. And then it's up to them, you know, to buy the multiples of that package. If it's under voiceover and the word count, what I always used to do is I did twofold here. One, I would put five dollars for the first hundred and fifty words, and that was a ploy. It was a marketing ploy to get in front of more people. And then the next three hundred to three hundred and fifty words, and you got to play around with this. I would put ten dollars, okay. And then as I put that in, and if you, and then what I would do is I would say I would hit save and preview, and then I would go to the number like the the box right, and I would type in ten thousand words, and then that would populate how much it was, and I think that was around two hundred and fifty five dollars per finished hour, which is what I was charging uh, at the time. So that's how I did it. You can always decrease those numbers on the back end in order to get you know, a lower rate, like maybe you're charging $150 or $100 or something like that under the words. But here's here here's the thing, too. Um, you got to consider this and just be aware, because when I got really busy with my audiobook production, what happened to me was is that people started purchasing regular voiceovers through my audiobook gig. So they were paying a lot less than what they would have been paying if they were going through my regular gig. Listen, people are people people are sneaky. All right. They can find it. So you just got to be prepared for that. That, but that you could do it either way. But that was before Fiverr uh, implemented the audiobook production category. And I would get into that one and use that one as the packages. Okay. All right. Good question. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Facebook, you sorry. Please explain clicks and impressions. Uh, okay. So the clicks and impressions. So impressions are any time that you pop up on a screen. All right. So like if someone searches for Gary, my man, thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate that. You found it. You found it, sir. Thank you, man. Ten dollars. Thank you, Gary. Really appreciate that. Thank you, sir. Um, so get back to the impressions and the clicks. Gary's a man. Um Impressions are any time you pop up on a screen. So if you're on Fiverr and you're searching for somebody voiceover and you pop up, that's an impression. Now, whether they look at you or click on you, that's that's under clicks. So if someone clicks on you. Now, here's a side note. You, Fiverr used to have impressions, views, clicks, and orders, okay, because they were varying the clicks and the views. Uh, but now they took away they took away views and there's just clicks. So if someone clicks on you, that's and they actually click on your gig or they click on to listen to you. Okay, that's a click. So you look as a click as an interaction with your actual gig. 
Okay, so once they click on you, all right, that registers as a click, and an order, of course, registers as an order. So again, impression is anytime you pop up on a screen. But remember, impression does not mean that they took the time to stop and look at your stuff. Impression just means that you popped up on the screen. There was an opportunity there for someone to see you. Really, you know, that that's why I look at the click to impression ratio and I try to get it before 48 percent, four to eight percent, because I think that's a that just helps me. It's good for me personally. That that seems like it's been good. All right. So that that's how we do impressions, clicks, orders. OK. All right. Cool. I hope that helps. Uh, let's see. Bonify. Yeah, I seem to have about 4% on my best gig for click to impression and 33% order to click to, which is wonderful on that best gig. That's great. I do need to get another gig or two up there soon. Appreciate it. Thanks, Anthony. Absolutely. Uh, Gary, again, thank you, sir. Really appreciate that. Rudy says, do, do video views count as clicks? Do video views count? So under my my... Uh, my understanding is anytime they click on something that you have, whether it's your video, whether because it's, it's your gig in general, whether they view. OK, so this is this is where Fiverr used to have the video and the views or the views and the clicks and whether or not someone like viewed your video on the main screen or actually clicked through to your gig. Right now, I believe Fiverr is looking at all of it just as clicks. OK, all, whether they click on your video or not. I will tell you what, I'll make sure I double check with that to see if you're basically, I think what you're asking is on the main page, like if there, you know, when there's four, like we were looking at, if there's 40 people there and someone just clicks on the video, the play button and doesn't click through, does that count as a click? To my knowledge, that does, I think that does count as a click, but I will double check that for you. Okay. Um, Eileen, I've caught four other freelancers who copied the text from my gig title description, even my bio. One of them even copied 99% of my content, including my demo. Holy mackerel, Eileen. Uh, I'm in the Indonesian VO niche. Wow, that's crazy. Um, you know, it's interesting, Eileen. I, I don't know. Maybe people have done that to me, too. I know that, you know, a lot, a lot of people... Uh, you know, because they're trying to, they, they don't know what to do themselves. You know, they go and they, they look and we do research and we look at other people's gigs and, and we, we take what they've put together because they seem to be working and we copy that and paste it. Um, and, you know, but I always personally discourage that because I think, you know, again, this is about you and how what you bring to the client. But here's the rub. Um, I, I don't, you know... <sighs> If it bothers you so much and you want to contact Fiverr, you could contact Fiverr and let them know, and they'd be able to see who created what and who created where. I don't know if how much they're going to tell you, you know, like how much it, it, it that what they're going to do, but you could contact them. You could contact them. Uh, I can't imagine that, that those people would be doing much business, you know what I mean, by just copying your stuff. So, but I, I understand the frustration with that, and I would contact Fiverr and let them know. Uh, let's see. Eileen says, some people are just too lazy to do the hard work. Nope, that's true. Rudy says, yes, cool. Thank you, Rudy. Flyer here says, oh, Fiverr, is there still more engagement in your gig if your gig has a video? Okay, so so basically if, you, if you're putting up stuff on Fiverr and you go to the gallery section at the end, right, there's always this little um, – box on the right side of the the video section that says you know Fiverr says there's 40 percent more engagement if you have a video on your gig right and I think this is so like for me when I first started especially or before I I started you know making things as you see aesthetically pleasing uh, I didn't have the space so I was like I'm not going to show people my space because you know you see some people's videos where they look like they're in a you know they're in a really nice studio you know and, and like now I have a nicer space so I could probably make a, a welcome video but I just decided to do a video an mp4 file with my thumbnail and a picture I mean, uh, my, my, a picture of my thumbnail and my audio and make that an MP4 file, right? No actual video. But I think what Fiverr really is trying to say is people with videos, like actual video content, okay, uh, get more engagement as opposed to just 
a video. But when I first started, I was just putting up MP4s because I was just trying to get in that video spot. But now what Fiverr has done is they actually make you put up the audio too. You can't just put up a video. You have to put up the audio as well. So I do think they get more engagement. I do think they're more interesting. Um, and and you guys know me if you're part of a video or you know the channel, you know how big of a person I am on your video portfolio. And if you go on my Fiverr account, now as a top-rated seller, you get a video portfolio. You don't get a video portfolio until you become a top-rated seller. But I have I'm I have all 30. Well, you know, I have more, I have way more than 30 videos, but Fiverr allows me to put 30 videos up on my uh, port in my portfolio. So that's what I have. And I really do believe that 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 really um is like icing on the cake i always use the acting analogy you know you go to broadway and you know you could go to broadway and you could watch you know one person on stage okay just you know maybe in black clothes and the 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 house lights on like and 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 nothing on the stage nothing there and they can act and there could be some amazing acting going on but you add lights you add costumes you add sound you add uh, an amazing set you know, you add uh, all sorts of other supporting actors. All of a sudden, you've got some, in, I mean, just massive production and, and show that just is over the top and incredible. It adds to it. You still have to have the acting and the basis of it, but everything else adds to it. Does that make sense? So, you know, I think that that's where I think the videos themselves and the quality of the video Okay, is where the engagement comes from, not necessarily the algorithm determining that you have a video. But I do think to some extent having that MP4 file can, you know, just having the MP4 file, which is why I always just made one without me doing a welcome video or anything else. However, as you notice, some of my other gigs I've started, like with my deep male voiceover, I actually put together videos that I've done so that you actually see it. And that gets really good engagement. And that does really well under promoted gigs. The videos do more, the video ones do more, uh, do better on, on video, on promoted gigs. So people really like to see, you know, those videos and, and how your voice sounds with it. And yeah, so it's a good question. Uh, let's see, Bonify, if you get a direct message rather than an order directly asking for pricing, do you always give it based on your normal rates if it's straightforward or do you increase it as bit it a bit as a custom offer? So I always, no matter what, charge the same no ma- anywhere I go. Whether it's different places on Fiverr, whether it's a custom order or they regularly order or I do email marketing, I I just always, if I do on another platform, unless the platform itself charges differently, I always charge the same just because it's easier. (laughs) Honestly, it's easier for me. Just people can expect it. Now, what I do do is when anyone, no matter whether, now in a custom offer, I always include commercial rights and broadcast rights. I, I personally include them. And if they come back and be like, oh, well, we don't need commercial rights. That's fine. I'll take it away and do another one. But I always include it right off the bat just because I'm assuming they're using it for business. And I'm going to include it so they know the price. I'm not going to give them the lowest price first. Okay? So I hope that helps. Uh, I know you make edits to your gig it can possibly negatively impact your search results. Do you know if a short word edit is just it, just the title impacts things from your experience? Okay, so if you over edit, all right, like there's some people who are editing five or six times a day every single day. Okay, if you're doing that, Fiverr is going to mark, you know, Fiverr is going to, they, they can actually get, put a 24-hour hold on your account because they think you're a, a bot. You know, you, you can do too much. Okay, it's not going to tank your account if you, you know, do a little bit, do a quick change. Okay, it won't tank your account. Um, All right, so let's see. Uh, Dig, explore vibes. As a beginner, how to practice international accent. Uh, So listen, whenever it comes to accents, I'm a big advocate for, you know, getting a coach. Okay. Yes, you can go on and watch YouTube videos. There's lots of YouTube videos on it, but I'm a big advocate for using a coach, a voiceover coach. Okay. I would really recommend you get a voiceover coach that just that that specifically uh, works with accents. Okay. An acting coach that does accents, an accent coach. Okay. Or, you know, get on the YouTube videos and practice that way. 
Um, let's see. Alden, what's up? As a new top rated seller, congrats. I just now have access to the portfolio feature. Any advice on how to use this the best? Yeah, Alden, I, I put up, put as many up as you can. Get all 30, 31, or whatever they allow you to get up. I fill out the descriptions. Do you know what I mean? Fill out your descriptions and make sure you've got a good title on there. And, you know, really just, just get the best videos you can put up. That's what I recommend and put as many up as possible because people look at those because as they're looking through your gig as a top rated seller, the portfolio option is there and they can click on it to look at your portfolio. Okay, so it's a really wonderful thing. I see a lot of top rated sellers who don't even use it. So, you know, make sure you're using all of it. What you don't want to do is put like a video. I mean, you know, well, I mean, you got to start somewhere, right? But you don't want to do like one or two videos and just leave it at that. Put, put a bunch. Because remember, the more you put out there, too, the more it looks like you got work, the more you're working. Um, you know, it's, it's like going to a store that's fully stocked and then going to a store that is, you know, pretty empty. If a store is pretty empty, we're going to be like, eh, I'm not going to really want to buy something here. This, this doesn't look right. But if a store is fully stocked, it's like a psycho. There's been a lot of actually um, research has done on psychologically how we look at things that are fully filled out, fully done, like, you know, full, uh, you know, as opposed to things that are not that are that are half empty you know what i mean we we get suspicious thing you know it's it, something's not right in our minds so it's just something to think about um it says voiceover angela says my portfolio still does not work fiverr can't figure it out well that stinks that's not cool yeah i'd i'd be getting on them well hey you guys listen thank you so <laughs> i don't mean to end on a bad note I'm sorry angela um you guys, thank you so much. This was a hopefully a really good session. I hope you learned a lot. Remember, really try to do your research on your titles. Get, you know, get in there and and search and try stuff out. Don't be afraid to change it after a few, you know, after three weeks or so, it's not working. Okay. But but give it a shot and use all of your gigs. You know what I'm saying? Use all of your gigs that are available. All right, you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody who left Super Chats. I really appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. It means the world to me. Thank you, guys. As always, have a wonderful weekend. By the way, if you're interested, would love to have you in a VO's Journey Elite. This is a group where we meet and do things like this twice a week. Uh, uh, We have our own private Facebook group. We help using analytics. We help grow your business. We help uh, with voice acting, marketing, et cetera, et cetera, on Fiverr, as well as many other places. So there'll be a link below and you can always go to avosjourney.com to sign up. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Talk to you later. Goodbye. Goodbye.